booktube nation i'm sam here again with baron and b books and today i'm here to announce my tbr for the cloak and dagger christmas readathon first i kept my fairy tale -thon tbr realistic this is not realistic for me, um, but I have a lot of fun finding a book for each prompt, and I actually had more mysteries on my shelves than I thought I did, and of course I picked up a few, because what else are you going to do? Um, I originally saw this, of course, on Kate Howe's channel. She's lovely. I will link her channel down below. I'm sure that you're already subscribed to her, but if by chance you're not, please go and do so. I also wanted to share with you she has some co-hosts, Melanie at Melanie Martin, Janelle at Too Farm to Books, Kate at The Novel Nomad, and Carolyn from Carolyn's Reading Rambles. There have been some lovely videos posted so far for this readathon this year. I've really been enjoying watching them. Um, I'm so excited. I am not a big mystery reader, but I started my reading journey reading things like R.L. Stein, which it was like um, middle grade and young adult horror, but it always had a mystery to it because what is causing these awful things to happen? I wanted to know. So anyway, so I'm kind of coming full circle on that. I'm interested in mysteries. Um, I especially enjoy historical mysteries or mysteries set in the golden age. So I was so excited to see that prompt included. First, I kind of just added this one last minute because I started reading it um, late at night and I was really intrigued and I wanted to continue. And I'm sure this will fit in multiple prompts, but that is the Santa Claus murder. And this is by Mavis Doriel Hay. And I'm just really excited to get to this. Like I said, the first couple of paragraphs really pulls me in. I don't know a lot about it, but it is of kind of that golden age that I enjoy reading and the writing style just grabbed me. So for the Hercule Poirot um, prompt, read a golden age mystery or one set during that time period. I've selected a short story, which is from this book. Now I am cheating by a couple of years. Um, I think the prompt said 1920. This was actually published in 1917, but it's something I'm really interested in, and I know I have other ones in my choices that will fit. This is called A Reversible Santa Claus by Meredith Nicholson, and um, reading up on it, it just seemed really interesting. It fit with the Christmassy vibes. I have read a couple out of this collection. This was also a gift from my brother and his fiance. Thank you very much. Um, and I've really enjoyed them so far, so I wanted to read a couple out of this one. This I believe was published in the 30s so that would work too but I did just want to try and include this in here somewhere and I'm excited to give it a try. Then for Inspector Bucket which is to read a Victorian mystery or one set in that time frame. I'm finally going to do it folks. I'm finally going to read something by Arthur Conan Doyle. I've been meaning to for years so I'm going to try The Adventures of the Blue Carbuncle which is also in this edition. I'm sure I have it in multiple places but I figured I had my Christmas books out. I would just read it from here. Okay, next is the Agatha Raisin prompt, and that's to read a mystery with an amateur sleuth. And for that one, I'm going with the group book, which is Georgia Hires the Footsteps in the Dark. Um, I believe this is a group of people that are amateurs, and they're trying to discover what's going on around them. Um, I believe in a big old house. It sounds kind of something that I would really enjoy. Plus, I've been meaning to read her for a while. I have one of her like romances on my shelf as well. So hopefully I enjoy this and then I can give that a try too. For the Inspector Gamache prompt, I am stretching it a little bit. It is to read a book with a bilingual detective or one set in a village. This is a Mystery in White, A Christmas Crime Story by J. Jefferson Fargion. And okay, so this is set near a village. The train, there's a breakdown, they get stuck in an old country house near a village. So I'm totally counting it. We'll see how I get on with this. Then for Detective Galileo is to read either a translated mystery or one set in a different country than your own. I'm stretching a bit here too, but it is true because I've been wanting to read this since last year because I read the first one in the series and really loved it. And that is Mor um, Moray Dalton's um, The Night of Fear. And I read the first book in the series last year and really enjoyed it. it. Reminded me a lot of Agatha Christie. So I'm excited to try this one. Plus it's Christmas themed. Okay, so it takes place in 
the UK. I'm American. It totally counts. I know I should stretch my wings a little bit more, but I really wanted to get to this for Christmas. Okay, then there's the Tommy and Tuppence is to read a book that features a great team. And I actually started this last year for the readathon and then ended up reading something else. So I hope that I can get through it this time. This is Molly Fine's The Crime at Noah's Ark. It's a golden age mystery about Christmas set in kind of a rural setting. It should be exactly my sort of thing. And there is a team in this, a believe, um, oh yeah, a doctor teams up with one of the local police force and uh, it's supposed to be really good. I'm excited to try it again. Um, I got a fair bit into it. So I was doing well with it. I just put it down. So we'll see. And for Flavia de Luz is to read either a children's mystery or one that's new to you. And so I'm going with children's because I love middle grade literature. Um, for this one, I'll be continuing this series. This is the Enola Holmes series. I love, love this series. I did enjoy the adaptation as well, but the books are better. Um, I read the first two and this is the third one. This is the case of the bizarre bouquets. Um, yeah, and I love her. I love her as a character. I love the story. I love the portrayal of her brothers. I think it's top notch. For the Kinsey Malone prompt, which is to read a book with a private detective, going with the big one. <laughs> um, again, I'm reading um, one of Agatha Christie's Hercule Poirot's uh, Christmas Holiday Mystery. I've previously read her Christmas novella that features Burrow as well and really enjoyed it so I'm excited to try this one out. Now for the Columbo prompt which is to watch a mystery TV show, I'm stretching again but my family we love to watch Christmas movies together and there's that movie on Disney Plus called I believe it's called Noel and we watch it. I've already watched it this year probably watch it again but it's basically there is a private investigator in it and he does go in search of the real Santa Claus so it counts counting it <laughs> um I'll put a picture um it's got Anna Kendrick in it and I just really love it it's fun and it's appropriate for the whole family and it's just a lovely movie it's a little cheesy but just my level of cheese for Christmas time those are all the books that I've selected for the Clogan Dyer Christmas Readathon. I'm so excited to participate again. Thank you again, Kate, for putting this together. You're fabulous, and I'm so excited to have this to look forward to at Christmas time. Um, I can't wait to get our tree up and to just start soaking up these mysteries in front of my Christmas tree at night. So thank you so much for hosting all of the hosts and um, I wish everyone a happy holidays and I hope that you're able to join. Thanks so much for being here with me today. Farewell for now. Bye-bye.